Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize the last caretaker for better FPS, fixed lags, stutter, and what are the best settings to optimize your FPS. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the best Windows settings. And for that, simply search for settings on your PC. And once you're over here, come down to personalization head over to colors and then you want to have to disable transparency effects this will disable windows and surfaces appear translucent to optimize the performance by reducing unwanted animations then come down to gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off it is an overlay service which consumes the system resources and you definitely don't want that and disabling this will not actually disable game bar but it will disable it from opening this is exactly what we need then go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on it will optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to optimize your PC's performance. Click on the graphics settings underneath and then you wanna have to enable optimizations for Windows games and advanced graphics settings. You have to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Both of these settings will actually help you to reduce unwanted input latency and utilize your graphic card to render the game. Then you wanna have to click on add desktop app over here and go to the download location of your game. Simply find Voyage folder in your Steam library, then head over to Voyage, Binaries, Win64 and then you have to select Voyage Steam, Win64 Shipping.exe, click on the add button over here. Once that's added, come down and find it and for the GPU preference, select high performance over here. Once that is done, you have to simply close it. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that head over to Steam, right click on your game, click Click on manage and then click on browse local files now head over to voyage binaries 64 and then you have to right click and select this option click on properties then you have to click on compatibility and select disable full screen optimizations and then click on the apply button this will fix any kind of black screen issues and other game crashing issues if that is causing any issue next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy and open it up this step will only be available for windows pro users over here double click on computer configuration administrative templates windows components app privacy and then you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and make sure that this is set to enabled then under the options you'll find default for all applications simply set this thing to force deny click on apply and simply close it this will deny all of the applications running in the background significantly boosting your system performance by reducing the number of resources this will help you disable background applications and other applications which are consuming your system resources optimizing your performance next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and then you want to have to select your local disk c click on create and name it the last caretaker tlc press enter and i would highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done close it and close system property next step is the last caretaker fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys will be able to find six folders over here which are absolutely useless and very important to optimize the performance of your pc the first folder is CPU Priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU Priority. These priorities help you to optimize the performance of your CPU by setting up the correct DWORD value in the registries. If you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply this one and similar for the AMD CPU. Second folder is RAM Optimization which actually helps you to optimize the performance of your RAM. You need to select the RAM that you have installed on your PC that you can simply search for by simply searching for system information and then seeing your installed physical memory. It is 32 GB for me so I have to double click and apply the 32 GB RAM registry over here. And once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default. Third folder is the last caretaker priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I'd recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless but they're still running in the background consuming our useful system resources. Simply disable all of them by double clicking on these registries except with Bluetooth or printer services if you use them. And once again, by mistake, you have disabled any of the services. Simply double click on revert registries and you can turn them back on. Fifth one is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance plan. You have to right click and then run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command onto your PC. Simply double click on power plans and then you have to select ultimate performance which should be added in this list. This power plan will help you to disable power saving features on your PC, helping you to optimize the performance and reducing unwanted issues and input delay. Last folder over here is programs in which I have left clean temporary files. You're gonna to have to right click and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, simply press enter and this will delete all temporary files on your PC and will help you to optimize the performance drastically. I'd highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then as this will help you to clean your cache regularly. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and then run it as administrator. We use this software to optimize the performance of our GPU. Simply select your GPU, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high, click on the apply button and close it. 
This will allow your graphic card to handle more than usual interrupts to optimize its performance. Next is Quick CPU setup. You're gonna have to double click and open it up on your PC. Quick CPU is a very simple tool that we use to disable core parking on our PC. And to do that, simply select core parking frequency scaling turbo boost and performance, set all of them to 100%, and then click on the apply button. Once that's done, simply close it and close the FPS back. Next type is defragmenting and optimizing our disk drive. And for that, simply search for defrag and optimize drives over here. Then you want to have to select your local disk C. Simply click on optimize and this will start trimming your SSD. And if you have a hard disk drive, it will start defragging your hard disk drive. In both cases, it is beneficial to do it for your drives as it will optimize your storage utilization. Similarly, you have to click on change settings and then click on run on a schedule. For frequency, go with daily and disable task priority over here. And also select increase task priority over here. Click on OK. And once that is done, simply close it. Next step is cleaning up your shader cache. And for that, simply search for disk cleanup. Open it up and select a local disk C. Over here, you want to have to check Windows error report, direct text shader cache, delete the optimization files recycle bin and temporary files over here all of those files should be selected and make sure that you click on the ok button click on delete files and this will force your game to re-render everything and it will fix any kind of issues that might be caused by corrupted cache or corrupted shaders once that's done you can drop into the game for the best in game settings all right once you're in your game press your escape key head over to options and then come down to video settings here make sure that your window mode is set to borderless windowed aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio vsync should be turned off frame rate limit go with unlimited anti-aliasing use dlss or fsr if that is available for your pc and for the dlss quality go with performance or balanced both of them works absolutely fine for the DLSS frame generation, you guys can go with FG enabled and the frame generation should be set to auto. Then show FPS and show details. I've kept it to off. And once that's done, press G to apply these settings. Go back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. I hope it helps you out. And I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Mary Fox and peace out.